So for those of you that don't know what high tensile wire is, it basically means that they've put more carbon in the wire and the wire is more more brittle, I guess would be the thing, but it has a higher tensile strength, meaning that you can pull on it and instead of it stretching and stretching and stretching and then breaking, it's just gonna get tight, hold right there, and then eventually when it hits its breaking point, it'll snap, it's not gonna stretch out. So the benefits of high tensile wire is when something hits it, it has a memory, it's gonna bounce right back without stretching out. Think about a barbed wire fence. Once you climb over a standard barbed wire fence, it stretches that wire just a little bit and the minute you step on it, it loosens up and over time it gets loose and stays loose. The high tensile fence, if it's got good terminations on both ends and it has good braces, will stay tight the entire time until the point that it breaks. About the only thing that's gonna break it is something impacting it extremely hard, say a vehicle or a tree or something like that could break it. But in a lot of cases, even if a tree does fall on it and it doesn't break, you'll be able to pull the tree off and it'll bounce right back up to its natural state. Whereas things like welded wire and low carbon wire, which is your standard barbed wire and your standard woven wire, will stay deformed and depressed and not look good. So that's the reason to use high tensile wire, but we do have to terminate it differently than we do our other wire. The one thing I'll say about wire knots is they are an art form, and that is what separates the truly great fencers from all the other fence builders. So you'll find that a lot of people take a lot of pride in their knots, and it really shows the artistry and the craftsmanship of a good fence. And so once you think you've got that mastered, then you can go tie off some 1348-6 and see how well you do at making sure all your knots are perfectly even down the post. That's really what the people that are really trying to hone their craft are looking for. And if you've seen some of the videos we've done on the channel in the past, that's what they're striving for is to make sure that everything's completely uniform all the way up and down the post, that all their knots look exactly the same. My knots are not perfect. I'm not saying that I'm per perfect knot tire. This is not something that I do on a day to day, but I thought that you guys would like to see how it's done. So under, over, over there's my handle if you do that right and you ring that towards the post you should be able to it's called ringing your wire off we should be able to snap that wire off just by ringing it and it'll snap right off without having to cut it and what that does is leave us with any ends that are sharp so all these ends will actually be really smooth the first thing it's doing is right here it's coming under the tight wire which is this one right here then it goes over the tight wire then it comes under itself again and then it goes over so the pattern is under over under over that's how you know if you're doing it correctly and then we have one lazy loop and two tight loops Hopefully you've learned something about how to tie a good high tensile wire knot. As you can see, it takes a lifetime to master. Hopefully my team's at home watching some of these videos and learning how to do high tensile wire knots because Dan, you could do a lot better in the future. If you'd like to learn more about good high quality ag fence, watch one of these videos right up here. Until next time, remember we are Florida's Fence Company and you have a good dang day.